So number one on my list is uh, remote.co. This is one of the best places to secure a full-time, part-time, or contract freelance jobs. They have a wide variety of jobs that are always um, updated and uh, various jobs in all niches. No matter your skill, you are certainly going to find something that works for you on this website. I've worked for um, a few organizations by applying through this platform myself. So it's a hundred percent for me. So number two on my list is angel.co. Angel.co is a website that um, where startup businesses uh, funded by angels search for skills to expand their company. It is a great place to find a full-time or part-time online job. I have also worked um, part-time for a cryptocurrency group by applying through this platform. It's completely reliable and some of these companies may take people who are unskilled but willing to learn and be trained. So do check it out. It's a, it's a pretty great um, platform. Number three on my list is Upwork. Yeah, you can see um, I'm actually logged in. This is actually my account. I do um, use Upwork once in a while. In my opinion, Upwork is the giant of uh, freelance online jobs and certainly uh, the best freelance online platform. I've used so far. It has well over 5 million registered clients posting thousands of jobs on a daily basis. There are many job types. Some pay hourly while others at the end of the contract. Um, the payment methods are easy and convenient for everyone including people from uh, countries such as Nigeria. So uh, fourth on my list is uh, Freelancer, Freelancer.com. Freelancer has millions of projects to choose from. However, this platform is quite competitive. You will have to bid for every job and submit proposals while the client picks from the best. It can be quite challenging for starters but if you are good at what you do, then you will certainly get picked. So um, I suggest you check it out. It's a pretty good place, but um, it is quite competitive. So you may wanna um, have a few options or just have a pretty good online profile. And I'm sure uh, you can work it out. Fourth on my list is People Per Hour. This platform focuses uh, mainly on web development, graphic designs, content development, uh, digital marketing. Your profile enables clients to weigh your skill and decide if you are the right person for the job. Um, number six on my list would be Craigslist. Craigslist is a popular website where you can get just about anything. Um, you can buy and sell as well, as well as provide goods and services. The website looks pretty ancient, but it has hundreds of, and thousands of visitors on a daily basis. You can also list services on the website fill in your contact details and you know wait for an email so next on my list is guru guru.com guru is one of the best platforms for finding work from anywhere in the world you you are required to create a professional profile and an enticing offer for your potential client Guru has a, a matching feature that, 
that um, matches your profile with jobs so that you're always updated and you don't miss out on job opportunities. Uh, next, um, number eight, we have FlexJobs. FlexJobs.com, like the name implies, FlexJobs offers various types of freelance work, such as part-time jobs and telecommuting jobs. Every post is well verified by the website, so you're assured it is not a scam. The only condition is FlexJobs charges a membership fee, which can be paid monthly, quarterly, or annually, depending on your preference. So yeah, you might want to check that out. And um, next we have iFreelance which is currently called freelancing.com. So um, iFreelance, all you need to do is get started, to get started on iFreelance is to create a profile, make a, a paid monthly subscription and you can get started on securing online jobs. There's no other hidden charge after the monthly charge. So you get to keep 100 of what you make. So next on my list and number 10 is You Know Juno. I hope I'm saying that right. You Know Juno. This uh, freelance platform is stocked with uh, lots of jobs for some of the most talented freelancers. And um, the website also includes tools that enable freelancers manage communications with clients. The site is free for use, no charge involved whatsoever. So at number 10, you know Juno. So number 11 on my list, I have um, the website Project for Hire. Um, Project for Hire is just as good as any other freelance website. And, and has all kinds of jobs that you could sign up for. The only difference is that Project for Hire requires that you pay uh, a fee of $5 before you can accept any project at all. So um, if, you are, uh, if, you, if you are okay with paying $5 for every project you accept, then project for hire is for you. Next, number 12, we have Auslands. Auslands is a, a unique website that connects freelancers and clients who are either based in Australia or New Zealand. It is free for freelancers to join. However, clan, clients um, have to pay seven dollars to be able to publish their requests for a freelancer on Auslands. Next number 13 we have TopTal. TopTal if you are a guru in a software development design or a finance expert uh, then this website is for you. TopTal is exclusively for top tier uh, software developers, tech personnel, and finance executives. The screening process is quite tedious and completely worth it because the pay is supposedly um, quite competitive. They also advertise full-time jobs for top companies as well. So next on our list, number 14, we have Fiverr. Fiverr, Fiverr, Fiverr. The popular Fiverr. Fiverr started as a freelance job site where every micro job uh, charged clients only $5. But today that is no longer the case. Fiverr is a unique website with lots of jobs. However, it is extremely competitive 
the freelancers on Fiverr have to really sell themselves by creating offers for clients and then clients can take a look at what freelancers are offering and then choose whichever they prefer. The payouts are, you know, relatively small, but it's a great place to start for uh, beginners. Next, we have Dribble. Dribble. Um, it's mostly for designers. So if you are a designer, uh, this may be the perfect spot for you. Dribble is a por portfolio site uh, for designers. Um, there is an active job board for designers and you can decide to just create a strong portfolio. Um, clients are likely to reach out to you based on your work, your portfolio. So if um, you have a great work, you're likely to get uh, jobs faster. Number 16, we have Cloud Peeps. Cloud Peeps is a space where talented uh, marketing uh, professionals can find gigs. The job postings on Cloud Peeps are mainly for content developers, creative designers, um, paid ads, specialists, social media experts, PR, SEO experts, and copywriters. The offer is uh, commensurate with that of any modern digital marketing firm today. So you may want to check that out. Next we have Behance. Behance. So Behance is, um, is a space for art and has an ex impressive following of creatives. The website is owned by Ad Adobe Illustrator. It is definitely a great place to find design gigs. The website is fully stocked with the most creative artwork, so you can also check it out for inspiration. It's a pretty cool site, you know, as you can see. And then, Next on my list, we have WP Hired. Uh, WP Hired is a place for WordPress specific jobs. Um, those are those who are into the development of plugins for WordPress. Uh, these uh, developments, theme developments, and other forms of uh, WordPress pro plugins can definitely find opportunities here. Occasionally, these jobs are for SEO experts and copywriters. So, if you are great as, at SEO or you're great at copywriting, you will definitely find something worthwhile. Next on my list, we have Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow uh, is a popular Q&A forum and also a job board. The trick is getting more credibility on this platform to contribute to the Q&As. This will boost your reputation and increase your chances of getting hired. The job types are mostly for programmers and um, you can search for companies by locations as well so you know you can check that out as well and next um, this is number 20 on my list we have Envato Studio Envato Studio is one of the biggest and most successful freelance market with a consistent inflow of jobs the platform, however, is a little exclusive as not all applications to join the talent pool will be accepted. There are also um, fixed fees for those who are accepted to join the platform. At number 21, we have uh, WordPress jobs. The um, the jobs advertised on this website are strictly 
about WordPress at the same as the name implies. Um, the job listings are mostly about theme customization, um, web development, plugin development, and other uh, WordPress related stuff. So if you're great with WordPress plugins and development, then um, uh, these uh, this is definitely the place for you and next on my list is power to fly at number 22 we have power to fly the main focus of this website is empowering women to find jobs online it encourages women to hone their skills especially in the tech industry as most of the jobs advertised on Power to Fly are tech related. However, other jobs, you know, other job types may be available once in a while. So next is uh, freelancermap.com. Freelancer map is uh, specifically for people who have advanced, really advanced IT skills. The website is completely free to register and earn. All you have to do is create a quality profile. The prices is specifically uh, proposed by the client so you do not have to bid for the job. All you have to do is apply and um, whichever project suits you. Um, so you'll get notified by your client. Next, we have Smashing Magazine. Smashing Magazine isn't just a platform for entertainment alone. It is also a space where freelancers can actually apply for available full-time jobs advertised on the job board. Most of the jobs revolve around programming and web design. Number four, um, number twenty-five. We have Crop. Crop offers freelancers uh, jobs like any other platform. The website boasts of an extensive list of clients and requires that you create a professional profile in order to be able to access the variety of available jobs on its job board. So at number 26, we have 99 designs. This is a battleground for designers, the most competitive place on the planet for all designers. Clients usually have a lot to choose from because of the designs and um, that are left on display, waiting to be picked and the chances of making money here depends on how great you are as a designer in comparison to others so there is actually a lot of competition on this website at number 27 we have design crowd design crowd is basically another competitive design site which is even more tasking the dynamics is usually designers competing for ultimate prize and the best designer wins the prize. The downside is that most times the other competitors who were not chosen get absolutely nothing uh, for their efforts. Uh, next, number 28, we have The Loop. The Loop was created specifically for creatives based in Australia. The Australian job board mostly allows freelancers based in Australia to create a profile and work remotely, although the website has a lot of remote opportunities for people living outside Australia. And at number 29, we have Squad Help. Now, Squad Help 
is mainly a crowdsourcing website with focus on creativity of the mind. Freelancers are tasked to come up with branding creativities such as company names, logos, taglines, and you know, and more. It's kind of like a contest and every contest, for every contest there is a winner and then the winner takes home the prize paycheck. So it's quite competitive. At number 30, we have Damongo. Damongo is a micro job market space and gets uh, lots of micro jobs posts on daily basis. It is similar to Fiverr, but probably less competitive. It wouldn't hurt to try both of them anyways. So the Mongo. At 31, we have Naming Force. Um, if you are great at coming up with names for businesses, then this is a great platform for you. Absolutely no skill required. All you have to do is submit business names and wait for the final verdict. It's sort of like a competition and thousands of business names are uh, submitted for every single contest. So the competition is quite high, guys. So that's it for Naming Force. And at um, 32, we have Get a Slogan. Get a slogan uh, is quite simple and highly competitive at the same uh, at the same time. The name implies you submit a slogan for the competition and wait to see if your slogan gets picked. If it doesn't, then you know it's back to the competition. But if it does, you win the cash. The chances are quite slim though. Um, and the, there are lots of competition here. If you come up with a pretty awesome slogan, then it gets picked and you get the paycheck. So at number 32, we have the slogan slingers. Slogan slingers is similar to get a slogan in many ways. It is a contest style website that is solely based on um, producing creative slogans and also the winning tagline gets paid. It is highly competitive and can be a great option for thrill seekers. So um, guys, if um, you're great at coming up with names of slogans, um, you know, it's quite simple, but then again, there's a lot of competition. so. Um, if this is something that you're good at, then sure, why not? And then at 34, we have iPro. I um, personally have not really confirmed how great this uh, website is, but um, you know, for the most part, iPro is relatively new in the market and is particularly great for both skilled and unskilled work. It is sort of like an online consultancy service where anyone can render freelance advisory and service on virtual contract to clients and earn, you know, earn some cash. A token of uh, $2, $2.35 is required to verify membership before you can access the job board. So, you know, you can check this out as well. Then, next, at 35, we have text brokers. Text brokers um, is particularly for writers. It has a, a steady inflow of writing gigs for all types of writers, However, um, right now the website is only open to citizens of the United States and residents. So if you are anywhere else, anywhere in the United States, then you can check it out. But if not, 
probably uh, you know don't just don't worry about it and the next we have pro blogger jobs the pro blogger website is a platform for freelancers bloggers and other forms of writers there are tons of freelance jobs um, regular updates and mostly focused on blogging occasionally there are other general writing jobs as well so you know it's mostly a writing gig so if um, you're great at writing content any form of content then this would be a great option for you so that's pro blogger you can check it out and then next at 37 we have freelance writing gigs freelance writing gigs um, as the name implies as well uh, it's a great place for talented writers it has a plain and simple look but you know very professional if you're a writer you could really you know fit in into this particular gig so guys you you would want to check this out lots of jobs here guys and then next we have um, media bistro media bistro is a website for professionals who are looking to make a career off the media media bistro has a rich job board full of jobs uh, you know like social media management journalism copywriting PR and other freelancers can join for free you know or membership for you know at least like I, I think $45 uh, dollars yearly the website also provides articles and insider resources on media and careers so yeah you can check this out as well a great site next we have oh um if uh, you did you know that you could actually make money tutoring online here are some you know some great sites where you could actually tutor and then earn as well so if you're into tutoring of any course any course at all you could you know check tutor.com tutoring online is, is another great way to get paid because tutor.com accepts uh, free applications for tutoring on any course that you're good at also if you have you you actually have to be really good at these courses before you can be accepted because the screening process is quite intense but also you qualify if you qualify you can make a full career right here guys you can so at 40 number 40 we have um tutor vista tutor vista is another platform where you can hone your skill as a professional in any subject tutoring online and getting paid all you have to do is submit your cover letter and resume you will be notified at number 41 we have Chegg's Tutors Chegg's Tutors um, opens career doors to those who want to focus on academic tutoring remotely the site has a wide variety of subjects um, that any qualified person could teach uh, the screening process is rigorous and you do need to have a postgraduate degree as a requirement you should be willing to commit at least four hours every day and also have um, access to reliable internet broadband so um, if you qualify in these uh, particular things then sure you could give this a try and next um, 
the rest of these jobs are mostly um, are mostly remote. So if you seek uh, a career on remote jobs, then um, we work remotely is a good place. Um, this platform operates a job board that advertises various full-time remote jobs. The job types um, include opportunities in development, copywriting, and other forms of creative work. So you can check this out, guys. There's lots of stuff over here. So, you know. Next, at 43, we have the Working Nomads. Working Nomads, uh, essentially this, this site displays curated uh, lists of online jobs that are well suited um, to nomads who love to travel and travel in between work. You can find regular remote jobs on this platform as well. All you have to do is sign up and um, you know get their newsletters as often as possible to stay in the loop for more opportunities so you know that's all you have to, have to do guys so and next at 44 we have inbound this was actually inbound.org but um you know the the site was changed to growth hub so growth hub is sort of the same as inbound.org so those who specialize in digital marketing uh, will find this website extremely useful. The website has a job board, you know, and um, where most of the jobs are available uh, are in the marketing niche. The forum also keeps you updated on all things um, digital marketing related. So. If you are into digital marketing, then this is great for you. Well, next at 45, we have Jobscribe. Jobscribe uh, is a newsletter website where you can sign up to get information on remote job opportunities in tech industry, especially in startup companies. Once you sign up for free, you get daily emails on remote job positions, mostly in the field of marketing, design, front and back end development, mobile app development, and you know, others. So, yeah, you can get that here. And next, we have Remotive. Remotive is a comprehensive job board that provides open remote positions and also offers tips on how to effectively work remotely when you sign up. You get bi-weekly newsletters to keep you informed on the new job postings. So you can check that out as well. At 47 we have Skip the Drive. The first thing you notice about the website is it's uh, user-friendly and aesthetically pleasing design. You know, Skip the Drive uh, features telecommuting jobs and displays nice features that allows you calculate how much money you make remotely and how much money uh, or how much time rather, uh, you know, it takes you to do a particular task so you know it really helps you manage your time and project in an effective way next in 48 we have um, virtual vocations virtual vocation is another great space to find most current um, telecommuting positions all you have to do is create a convincing profile and apply to job postings on this website. So yeah, that's it guys. And next, we have 
oh yeah if um, you are if you're great at transcription and translation then transcribe me is the perfect place for you uh, transcribe me is a platform that offers transcription work if you have a good pair of ears and can understand various English accents then this might be a perfect job for you um, those who have experience in the medical or legal uh, field may earn higher than the regular transcriber all you need to do is you know have a good internet connection and the necessary tools to make the listening process seamless so uh, that's it for transcribe me and on number 50 we have the crowd surf crowd surf provides transcription in captioning jobs specifically on online media CrowdSurf uses a separate account called Work Market to hire and pay its, its freelancers. All you need to do is to open a Work Market account, take a compulsory assessment to determine proficiency, and if you pass the assessment, CrowdSurf will start sending you work. So, um, yeah, that's it, guys. We are at number 50 and um, these are all the sites that you can use to get um, all sorts of jobs online. These are your 50 best websites to find online work. So you know, go check it out. So that's it guys. Thanks for staying till the end. Also remember that these platforms may require some level of consistency if you really intend to make money off of them. I personally have um, used quite a few of these platforms myself and they are quite challenging, especially for websites that require you to continually submit bids for every single job post. It can be tasking, uh, you know, once in a while. There are usually three levels in some of these websites, the entry level, the intermediate level, and the expert level. Do not sign up for expert or intermediate level if you are not, if you're new to the field and you do not have credible samples or a comprehensive portfolio because even if you get lucky uh, enough to get these jobs, if you do not uh, deliver, you may get a negative feedback and this will affect your profile on the long run. You have to be dedicated, you have to prove that you're really a leader in this field because you, you, you will be getting high gigs if you do uh, play a good role, if you do your, your part well, you will get lots of gigs. So, you know, thanks guys, subscribe, um, hit that notification button um, so that you can get alerts it's uh, going to take one second guys you know just hit the subscribe button the notification and comment below if you learned something from this video thank you very much and i'll be seeing you in the next video